Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video for some post-Christmas toy hunting. One thing I am looking for is that Smith's website is listing the WWE Basic Series Bailey as being in stock. So I'll hit my local Smith's and see if I find her on the peg. Wish me luck. Ooh, I think I see her. Yep, sitting out here wide in the open. Well, that was easier than I expected. Let me look on the card back to refresh my memory who else is in this series. And I think they've not long put these out on the peg, so everybody is here. Just a few Kevin Owens left, though. Ample John Cena's if you want him. Ooh, the lovely Lana. Edge. And they do have a few more of Bailey on the peg. I needn't have walked so hurriedly down the aisle when I spotted that one sitting out. Ooh, and they also have Elite Series 40, I believe it is. It's Sami Zayn, first time in the line and well-timed release for his in-ring return. Who else is in this series? Oh yeah, Erwin R. Shyster. He is from the era that I usually focus collecting, but I've not been too impressed with pictures I've seen online and in person. And yeah, he's not faring any better, really. I think I'll skip him. There's a sentimental favourite of mine, Ravishing Rick Rude. Yeah, I still have the one when Legends was its own line, and I'm not sure I feel the need to double up on him. Umaga does look pretty cool, though, and there's poor Psycho Sid still peg-warming. I think the next Elite I'll get will likely be the Finn Balor. Whenever that comes out, can't be long now, but this is their latest series of Battle Pack, Adam Rose and the Bunny. Then the Bellas, which is just redecos of action figures already have, so I won't be splashing out on those, and then Bray and the Undertaker. Moving on to Batman versus Superman versus Wonder Woman versus Doomsday, or whatever the movie is called, I'll likely never see it. Doesn't mean I hate DC, I'm just not that interested, but I'm sure some of you guys are getting proper hype for this, so uh, have a gawk at these. In other DC news, I just watched the Suicide Squad trailer, and I have to say it looks a hell of a lot better than Batman versus Superman. Alas, my allergy to Will Smith will prevent me from watching it. If I was eight years old, I'd get my mum to start an online petition for an alternate Suicide Squad cut without Will Smith in it. Ooh, look over here. I never can resist to try me. Let's give old Superman a go. There's the button. There it is. Is that Superman, or did they just record the voice of an intern at Mattel's head office? Oh, Batman, his usual unintelligible self. I heard Dirty Vision can meet Superman. There's a Batmobile. I assume to scale with those six inch figures we just looked at. And there's a smaller Batmobile. And then also the Batwing. Now, do these have action features? Let's look on the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't fly, we just proved that. But yeah, they have pull back and go action. Back to more comfortable ground for me and Marvel, and I've spotted a couple of new Marvel superhero mashes I've not seen before. There's Daredevil and Nova. Then over here, there's another one I've never seen before. It's the Winter Soldier, and Smith seemed to go in light in ordering new mashes now. I guess they've learnt their lesson from the Falcon. Over in the Lego section, I've just spotted this new Doctor Who set. Pretty whopping $49.99, which when people ask me why I don't review Lego, that's why. And the minifigs you get in the set are the 11th and 12th Doctors, Clara, Weeping Angel, and a couple of Daleks there. And on the other end of the Doctor Who price spectrum, poor Amy Pond's been reduced to just one pound. Now moving on to Asda and checking out their Lego section, here's some new Star Wars Lego figures that I've not seen before. From The Force Awakens, Kylo Ren, Poe, Phasma. But the important question, do they have Rey? Or is she missing in action like that Monopoly set that blew up the internet last week? No, that's her there, pictured next to Kylo Ren on the packaging back. Is she here? Is she hiding back there? Ray! I previously opened some of these Star Wars Micro Machines blind bags on Blind Bag Bonanza, and I thought this was a new series, but no, this is a special edition containing an A-Wing as pictured on it. It's not a blind bag, it's a... Fully sighted bag. 
Curious. And now I've just seen buy any two Kellogg Star Wars products and pick up a free Hasbro Star Wars Micro Machines A-Wing exclusive to Asda. Mystery solved. Now taking in my second Asda of the day. I know I spoil myself, but actually this one is bigger, but will it be better? Well, that depends what we find in store. Checking out their Star Wars section and let's see what they have in terms of the Black Series. There's a Kylo Ren, not seen him around for a while. And, oh, hang on, this is new. First Order TIE Fighter pilot. I've not seen him on UK shores before. Or the Resistance Trooper. Ooh, these are looking pretty tempting. Or maybe I'm still under the influence of having seen Star Wars The Force Awakens for the second time this morning. Then to keep the shelf warm, there's Finn. I'm actually looking forward to the one of him in his Stormtrooper gear with a removable helmet and the bloody handprint. Then there's the elusive Ray. Is the deco on the face any better than the one I reviewed? Mm, don't think so. Seems their Marvel three and three quarter inch infinite series are on sale, five pounds 24. There's Doc Ock, Ultimate Spider-Man. Who's behind him? Oh, it's Daredevil. And, oh. <laughs> sorry, Matt. I just reviewed the recently released Deadpool and Colossus, but these are older. <laughs> Whatever, I'm over it. And there's a new third series of Marvel 500. Seems Hasbro really are committed to putting out 500 figures of these. Ant-Man, Spidey, and Winter Soldier are the cover boys. I'll grab a couple. Let's go and have a nosy to see what's going down at Tesco's. And on the cover of Empire the Movie Magazine, it's only blooming Deadpool, isn't it? It's finally sinking in. We're actually gonna be getting a Deadpool movie and it's only a couple of weeks away. I'm tempted to buy it, I don't know why, because I have the internet to read things on. Also in the magazine section, have you seen these? It's a new Star Wars helmet collection. Issue number one is Darth Vader, £1.99. You get a magazine and then a mini replica helmet. Let's flip over and see. There's the rest of the series coming in future issues, I guess. This is one of those things where they pump the price up come the second issue. Yep, Boba Fett, issue number two, four ninety nine. dollars in a similar vein, there's a new Learn to Draw the Marvel Way series. Issue number one is out right now, only 99p, but again, come the second issue, they pump the price up. But if you're a budding comic artist, might be worth checking out. But really, I'm here because I saw on Twitter somebody post that the three and three quarter inch TIE Fighter vehicle is just £10. Well, the shelf is saying 30 but let me take it to check out and see. And yep, you can see top of the receipt there, it was just £10. You might want to go grab yourself a bargain and excuse the rest of my receipt, that's me buying lunch. Let's move on to Toys R Us. And usually my local Smiths out WWE's The Toys R Us, but this is a series Smiths don't have, WrestleMania. Is it a Toys R Us exclusive? There's Cesaro, but who else is there? Roman Reigns, Eddie Guerrero, and Razor Ramon. They're out on the pegs too. Eddie Guerrero, you need some Latino heat. No thanks, you're right, Eddie. There's Razor Ramon, it reeks of machismo. And more Cesaro back there. Where's Roman Reigns? Oh, well, there he is. And it's a good day for Toys R Us. Well done them. They've continued to beat Smiths to the punch with these new WWE Creator Superstar sets. There's a Gladiator set. That's the old set that's just repackaged in newer packaging. But this Dean Ambrose Enforcer set, I've not seen that before. It's pretty cool. He's like an executioner, I guess. And then hip hop set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really tempting to buy. And then this Shadow Vigilante set. Kind of looks like Scott Steiner, that head sculpt. And let's now finish things on a um, <clears throat> high note. Oh, who am I kidding? Let's go slum it at bargain buys. And regular viewers will have seen me recently getting my knockoff lightsaber on, and it seems that bargain buys have a knockoff laser sword of their own. Ooh. Oh, sweet Mary, mother of God, the knockoff Star Wars gets even better. Look at these. Ooh, they're just one pound each. Well, I don't know why I'm making that sound like a bargain, because clearly looking at Darth Vader, that's about what they're worth. These are going straight in my basket. Ooh, and the fun rolls on over here. Look, masks. Is that a Stormtrooper? It's white, so I guess so. And the black ones, Darth Vader? Yeah. <laughs>
Anyway, click this video if you miss what I came across in my previous toy hunt and stay tuned to my channel as I'll be showing off some of the goodies I scored in this toy hunt soon. I sure would appreciate it if you could take a quick second to give this video a big thumbs up and I hope to see you next time. Bye.